<laughs> yeah, hey, so... uh, uh, w- <laughs> you want to hear a really good impression of me and Jimmy doing a dial-up ton at the same time? No. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you better say, no, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Billy. And I'm Jimmy. We are the Bulk of Skull Podcasting. And we want to welcome you to the numbskuller that is the Zeo to Hero Podcast. Where creators and fans come together to share their love of their fandoms. Welcome to this fun-filled episode of Zeo to Hero. Where I am always joined by Jim. The one man who proves that some babies are dropped on their head by accident, but he was thrown at a wall. Wow. You know, there, <laughs> sir, it's pronounced fact fiction show. Get it right? Not, there, not fun facts. And there's no introduction for the our guest because everybody knows her and everybody loves how she just talks the mess. She's the one. She's the only. The she's the one that can Sam. swing and swerve, but bump and hit the curve. And it's Sam. Sam. <laughs> 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 oh, that was great. I, I've been I've been waiting on that one since 8 a.m. this morning when I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So what has it been going on in the days of Sam? I know that we had a name change for you. You used to be called Fire Lord, but then it just kind of changed to Big Daddy Sam. Uh you gotta give a little your little backstory to that. Well, okay, so that what was it like a week or so ago? Somebody fucking commented on my TikTok, okay, daddy, or some shit like that. And I was just like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> like, who's his minute. daddy? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't think a girl could be called daddy, but like, I'm all for it. I don't, I don't give a shit. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've slowly made that a mini cult in my brain and everyone that's in the discord is now in that cult unwillingly so everyone's just gonna have to deal with it (laughs) we're gonna have we're gonna heaven's gate on july 4th right no (laughs) jesus no no drink some no no (laughs) drink some drink some uh, root beer but the trick is i don't like root beer (laughs) Uh Uh oh man (laughs) <laughs> wow. wow, this got uh, this episode got dark quick. All right, guys. So <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So as we uh, adventure again on another Pride Field episode, uh, what do you think, Jam? Should we grill Sam on this one too? Well, I want to. I really. I, well, I asked Sam if she wanted to be on the episode today because uh-huh. she's a really big supporting ally of the LGBTQIA plus community. And I, I wanted to get her opinion on, on well, it's a lot of letters, <laughs> a little bit too, but community. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to talk to her about being an ally and seeing how things would change since, you know, we grew up at the same time. And so we both saw how things have changed. But I want to see what her opinion is on it as being an ally and not being someone who's part of the community. Well, not oh, yes. part like me. And not someone who grew up like Billy did, who was completely closeted to anything called a book. At all until he was twenty five. <laughs> Me no read. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, I, I, well, I asked... also, also, we're also getting a different perspective because we grew up in Texas and Sam grew up in <clears throat> New York. <sighs> so, God, yeah. that's a nasty taste in my mouth. So. I can put me to the steak already, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we're mailing you a steak. Don't worry, just do it. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, but yeah, but. We, I, I really want to have Sam come on and talk to us about that kind of stuff and like let like and I, we know Sam is sassy and everything else <laughs> and you know mm-hmm. Big Daddy Sam, but I, I'm pretty sure she has some <clears throat> insightful. <clears throat> I, I, <laughs> I I don't know if they're insightful, but like you know my journey with you know being an ally and everything like that. There are some only I guess me kind of things that would happen uh <laughs> so I, i've got some stories and whatnot of course like i always do so all right well let's me... uh you ready to rock and roll then yeah billy, are you ready to learn something billy yeah okay <laughs> i don't know if there's any learning 
to be done, but, you know. Well, with Billy, he's always trying to learn something new. It doesn't always take, but sometimes, yeah. sometimes it does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm real proud of him. Real proud. Thanks, oh, guys. Thanks, guys. Y'all are day oneers. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <God>. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry. We're going we're gonna to have the gate to in July. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, Sam, we'll transition. Yes. Sam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Over some cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, we, we had we had Clayton on earlier this month, and we had Rachel on recently, and mm-hmm. I, I asked him the same, relatively the same question about growing up, and you saw all the people, like, you know, saw the Rangers and stuff growing up. It was, you know, we're a Power Rangers podcast anyways, because that's how we're labeled yeah. now, apparently. Um, growing up, and you saw Power Rangers, and, like, how... Uh, from your perspective, like my perspective was Billy was hot and was when, when he course. wore a tank top, it was gorgeous. And I don't understand why everyone liked freaking Kimberly. I, I didn't didn't make any damn sense at all. <laughs> and so I want I want to ask you what your opinions were, kind of growing up and like going back again and rewatching old Ranger episodes and like f- feeling differently about it, especially with David Yost coming out of the closet and talking about how he let us treat it on the show and like yeah. kind of what your perspective on it. Okay, so I remember when I was, God, like four or five when, you know, Mighty Morphin did come out. You know, at that time, obviously I was way too young to have, like, crushes on anybody. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But I was always, like, into Billy. Like, he, for some reason, I guess because... Me being the nerdy little fat kid when I was tiny, um, he had glasses, I had glasses, like, the, just him not fitting into the rest of the Rangers, how they were all pretty much good looking and, like, you know, they were just the stereotypical, like, popular popular looking, like, preppy teenagers. And then there was Billy, who was just, you know, the standout nerd. And I felt more relatable to him than anything. And then, like, as I got a little bit older, you know, when you do start to realize, oh, okay, I boys are cute sometimes, <laughs> you know, I realized I did, like, have, like, some sort of, like, attraction to Billy. And then, like, as an adult, you know, rewatching like Zio, for instance, I, I saw Billy in that, and I was just like, "God damn!" <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> he is, he is like top tier here. Like, he was like in his peak in Zio, and uh, <laughs> you're sitting there like, "This better not awaken anything in me." <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just like crazy. I was like, okay, you know, that's pretty cool, and like. Prior to me even rewatching Zeal, like years and years ago, I found out, you know, that he was gay. And I was just like, okay, cool. That kind of makes sense for me. Only because, like, this kind of transitions into my other stories. But I've had at least two ex boyfriends that are now gay. <laughs> um, mm, okay. Damn. So <laughs> I, I have. I I guess a gaydar in a sense that I don't know until it's like after (laughs) the fact Um, but like I have no problem with that like obviously yeah I'll I'll be attracted to somebody if if that does happen and if they end up being gay you know what I'm not gonna be upset about it I'm not gonna you know try to force them be like well I'm gonna turn him straight you know (laughs) I'm not that kind of person you're like, like you oh no. <laughs> okay, you're happy. <laughs> the great I was gonna say the great Sam Crusade. Oh great god. Crusade. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I mean everything that um David Joyce, Joyce has done, it, like out of all the Power Rangers and everything, he is just the most, I feel like, collected one. He is the only one that doesn't annoy me on social media (laughs) he's not full of himself he's just having a good time and making sure that you know anyone that's ever supported him even though you know the producers and stuff back in the day did do him dirty um you know he's making sure that everyone is having a good time he just wants everyone to collectively be 
happy and enjoy things and stuff. And that's not what you see with any of the other Rangers, I feel like. Especially, I hate going into JDF stuff, but JDF is just, it's all about him. It's all yeah. about him. It's all about what he used to do. It's all about what he's done on the Power Rangers. And, like, it's just, ugh. and I mean, we've seen the pictures recently. Jim has sent them to me of, you know, JDF straight up looking like Uncle Rico, like I've said <laughs> for God knows how long like with the gold chains and everything he's going for his glamour shots now and he doesn't even give a shit about anybody in the fandom anything that he's ever done it's like well I i've done this goodbye for all of you and it's just like okay great thanks for yeah. affirming our suspicions that you're a total douche and then, <laughs> Bye, like, Uncle Rico. what was what was the other thing where he's like, I'm kind of done with Power Rangers, but I'm filming a I'm filming a movie that's like directly related to Power Rangers. Yeah, oh, the, the exactly. White Dragon it's like, movie yeah. thing, Bobber, and I can care nothing about, about that. It's all about him. That movie is all about him. It's not anything to do with the original or anything like that. Because if it's not about him, why would he want to do it? He's a narcissist in a way like that. So like, mm -hmm. yeah. That doesn't surprise me any. So forget that guy. <laughs> That's like, why David Joyce is the fucking best. He's awesome. David, um, David, David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, like, you know what? I, I feel like if um the girl who played Trini, I can't think of her name at the moment. Uh uh uh, uh Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Thu uh Thu Yeah. I, I can't think of her actual name. But the girl that played Trini, if she was still alive, I feel like she would be up there with David. Like, I feel like they would have been the best team to, like, get, like, everything sorted. And I feel like if she was still around, she definitely would have probably helped him out. And this whole project that he has going on, it would have happened a lot sooner. And I feel like it would have been great. But, you know... Unfortunately, yeah. she's not here. So <laughs> you had, it was uh, uh, through uh, through tr training. Yeah, her <laughs> through, yeah. training. But yeah. yeah, like even with her, like you know, going back to attraction and stuff like that. I always also related to her a lot more than Kimberly. Like everyone <laughs> loves Kimberly, and that's bright and all. You know, I yeah, I've said it before. Yeah, I do cosplay as her. Or at least dress up as her, whatever. Um, but I prefer Trini. I've always preferred Trini. And I don't know. I always thought she was the prettier one out of the two. And I also felt like she, you know, wasn't the stereotypical, like, cheerleader type either. Yeah. Like, I didn't like that. Like, like I don't know. I the Valley Girl thing was a huge turnoff for me, to be fair with you. Yeah. Like, complete turnoff for me. Valley Girl was just uh, seems irritating. But yeah. Trini, Trini was, you know, the smart one. And, you know, the smart, yeah. friendly, like, you know, good, like, wasn't a Valley Girl. And that's yeah. that's why I liked her. And then we got the, the Kimberly Hart Ranger Slayer in the comics. And, mm -hmm. oh, my God, that was... Yeah. That was intense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she was a lot of fun in that. And so I, I feel like without the Valley Girl kind of stigma with it, like, Kimberly Hart becomes more attractive. Well, yeah, of course. But then you've like, also got a bunch of fans in the fandom who are just kind of one-noted. And well, it's yeah, just so like, well, like all Kim right, then, guys. Like, the Kimberly fans, of course, like, mainly are dudes because they were attracted to her. They're just... <laughs> they're, Don't worry, Billy like, liked yes, her farts. Kim it's all good. <laughs> Billy, I what? Like, yes, what? Kimberly, <laughs> my first crush ever, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, that's great for you, but... Well, the well, let's let's ask Billy. Billy, who was your uh, who who do you like? Who was your uh, crush growing up? I didn't have one. I just don't you lie to show. us. You had a crush. Who do you like? No, doesn't matter from what show. Who do you like? Who did I like from what show? Yeah, it doesn't matter. What, what show? Really who do you like? We're gonna we're gonna uh, do not get no, don't lie to me. Who <laughs> who did you like? Was it that one random like uh was it that all uh, all my monsters uh black and white little uh, monster? My monsters. Uh, the stick one. The what? Oh my god! I swear to Jesus. Okay. Ah <laughs> no. Billy, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear. What ranger did you like growing up? 
uh, now? No, growing up. Oh, no, not growing up, but I got when one. When we were little, we could make fun of each other about it. Which one do you like? No, uh, I didn't have one growing up, but I got one now. It's that uh, Ninja Steel pink girl. Holy moly. Ew, nice. really? Yep. Man, Billy, your standards suck. <laughs> oh, yep. great. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is my life. That's yeah. all I deal with. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, this is Ben from Baker Rangers, and soon we'll have a new show called Taku Tuesday. On this show, we talk about Takusatsu, Godzilla, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and even some more obscure Takusatsu that's out there. Just keep a lookout. Coming soon, Taku Tuesday, only on Baker Rangers. All right, moving on. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, oh. If, if who do you like now, Sam? Who's your like crush now? Well, not crush. Oh, it'll but... it'll forever be David Goist. Always. Okay. I, there's and no if ands or buts about it. Like he just he's like a fine wine. He's just mm. getting better with age. You know, Planes <laughs> are the exact same thing. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, I will say one thing: the guy who played the yellow alien ranger. All right, the guy who played him. He has a beard that just ah uh, does not quit. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It's majestic looking. And then yeah. the guy who played Chip, the uh, the yellow, uh, the yellow uh, Mystic Force Ranger, yes. that guy, he aged very well. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, hello. I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. If you want to know, uh, just look them up yourselves, uh, people. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, like, okay. So and then growing up. Uh, while growing up, you you, you saw because we, we had this conversation before as well uh, with other people. But you grew up and you saw that uh, LGBT like LGBT or the rainbows weren't really <laughs> represented in TV, right? Yeah, in TV and media and stuff you were watching growing up. Yeah. And now you can go back and rewatch it and you see like these characters who are kind of gay, but not really gay. They're never really explicitly called gay, right? Yeah. And so, when how did you realize that? Like, what what point did you like? Oh, hey, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. So when I was younger, I don't remember how old I was. I was probably maybe like eight or nine, something like that. And like the Ellen Show, not like the Ellen DeGeneres, like her talk show. But, like, yeah. whatever TV show sitcom thing that she had. I don't remember I it what it was called. The Ella DeGeneres show. Something like that. I remember that. Yeah, it was... She came, out, she came out on the show. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, my <laughs> mom was watching that episode in particular. And, you know, she's like, oh, I'm gay. And, like, I turned around to my mom and I was like, what the hell does that mean? And she was like, you'll find out when you're older. And I was like. That doesn't help me. <laughs> I want to know what I'm now, Mom. <laughs> yeah. What's gay mean? <laughs> so, like, you know, I had no idea. And, you know, back then we didn't really have access to the internet like we do now to for me to fucking Google that shit. I mean, we had Ask Jeeves back then, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> my parents yeah. had a Jeeves. parental lock on that shit. So I couldn't ask Jeeves anything. Jeez, so... what's gay? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, don't ask me these questions. Your mom's watching. But yeah, Billy and I had a very similar, like, a very similar thing. Like, we, we, we talked mm-hmm. about in Clayton's episode, which we linked below, <laughs> yeah. where uh, we had a, there was a character that came on ER, that was our mom's, like, favorite show, was yes. ER, and there was a character came on who's dying of AIDS, or yeah. something like that, and like, she talked to us about that, and was like, oh yeah, I know, uh, uh, you know, gay, like, AIDS isn't really just a gay problem, but it's a, a problem that's, for TV, a gay thing, and she talked to ER off about it for a while, uh, so by the time we got to like three months into it, we were completely desensitized to the whole idea of gay, straight, nice, and lesbians. Yeah. And so we're sitting like, oh yeah, no, gays are fine, whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, I get that. So I, I give them a lot of flack, but I'll give her I'll give her mm-hmm. props for that for uh, for helping <laughs> us not be considerable douchebags about uh, yeah. people being people. Yeah, that, I get that. I um, so my gym teacher. Of course, stereotypical gym teacher story. Um, she was also my neighbor, right? Okay. I lived right next door to her. Wait, does and... she still tell you you can't do the pull? <laughs> does she tell, say you have to do the, the rope climb? Oh, my God, no. Luckily, do the rope this climb, like, no. <laughs> this is elementary school, so, like, 
we didn't have rope climb in elementary school, <laughs> thank God. But um, she was my elementary school gym teacher, and she lived next door, and her name is Bernadette. And now oh. her wife, who I did not know for the longest time, like, her wife was, like, a fairly older than her. I want to say at least 15 years older than her. Um, okay. Her name was Nat. And, you know, when I was little, I didn't you know. Like, I thought that was her mom. I thought she oh just lived God. with her mom because, like, no one told me. No one told me. And I was like, okay, you know, and not until I got maybe until, like, middle school, right about high school, is that it all kind of clicked. Um, we had neighbors that lived behind us, like, diagonally behind us. So mm -hmm. they lived right behind Bernadette and Nat. So... They were back-to-back -back neighbors. I was diagonal back-to-back -back neighbors from them. And those neighbors, it was two gay guys. And I knew they were gay. Like, I obviously knew. Like, <laughs> yeah. everyone knew. Because every night they would have these parties at the house during the summertime. Loud music. Like, everything. It was a great time. Like, I would open up all my windows to, like, my living room and stuff. And I would, like, listen to the music while they would play it. <laughs> it was great. And, like, they started incorporating Bernadette and Nat into these parties. So it would be, like, this one big gay rager. Oh, man, that's so much house. fun. <laughs> and, like, obviously, because I was, you know, a child, I could not go to these things. But, like, just hearing the music and hearing everyone have fun, it was pretty cool. And, like, that's when it clicked to me that, you know, Bernadette and Nat were also gay <laughs> and very very like, very yeah. stereotypical couple <laughs> yeah and i was just like oh okay cool you know whatever and you know that did not change my idea of bernadette at all like i was just like okay cool you know she's doing her i really did generally think that was her mother because it was she was so much older than that I mean, uh, oh, Bernadette, did, but... did, did you the paul rudd thing like uh okay <laughs> yeah it was just like the the light bulb went off and I was just like holy shit and then I was just like okay whatever <laughs> you know it was just the epiphany of that was just like wow okay why okay. didn't anyone tell me sooner like why did it, why did this not get brought up and no one told me because he just left me here just assuming the whole time <laughs> that this yeah. was her mom <laughs> well. Like with that, like uh, I, I do like the fact that uh, we have shows nowadays that incorporating like lesbians and gays into the show, like for kids. Yeah. And it's not really like a big thing. It's just like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah no, they're gay. And yeah. so we're not going to have situations like you and I and Billy had when yeah. we were younger, who were sitting there going, "What the hell does this mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell is gay? Uh, yeah. Or like, what the what 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 the heck is a rainbow flag?" Yeah, stuff like that. But and like, so even when we were younger, like I don't remember rainbows or anything really even being tied into, you know, being gay. Like anytime I saw like rainbow stuff, I always uh, like associated it with like the, disco uh... and seventies and like stuff like that for yeah. some reason more than I did ever tie it into people being gay and that didn't really even start to happen well, until I was in high school. Let me ask you this. When did you find out uh, when, when did you find out what the Stonewall uh, Stonewall riots that happened in New York? Did you ever like did you find that out when you were growing up or like after you graduated high school and stuff? I think it was after. Yeah. I, 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 I want to say it was after because I don't remember learning about it in that school being discussed or talked about at all mm. while I was in school okay at uh, all yeah that's what i thought yeah because not not a lot of like now there's more places teaching about it now but back when we were growing up they, it was kind of swept under the rug because well no one no one talked about it and yeah, yeah. but uh yeah. transitioning from that uh some of the best coffee ever had was made by a lesbian so coffee <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm kind of bummed that we don't have the video on today because I'm really proud of my mug. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put photos up on Instagram and stuff. Don't worry, I got you. I know. And you got yeah. your own Instagram account, which is? 
Oh, which one do you want to talk about? Which my one? <laughs> which one you want to? Which one you're going to support? Come on, throw it well, out I there. Mean, <laughs> I I I support both of them, so that's. I, you know, the worst part is I have four Instagram accounts, but I only talk about two. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I, I, well, I've got. Throw out the name for your Instagram and TikTok real quick. The ones like Power Rangers support it. <laughs> okay, Power Rangers, excuse me, supported both of the same uh, Rebel Ranger um, XX. Two R's each time in each. So... I was trying to let you get that throw out, out there. So you have it, so I'm like, oh hey, yeah, I'll go check it out. And so then you reinforce it's, it into the it's show. It's like she it's like she threw the line out with the bait on it and they got caught in a tree limb. And yeah, pretty much. That, that's yeah. usually what happens with stuff with me. That's you know, you try to do one thing and ten other things happen in between. So like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> but so, the other Instagram is just RoarXX89, I think. I don't think the 89's there. Maybe it's just RoarXX. I don't know. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst. I don't even know what my handles are. That's uh... You're the worst. Okay. You're like the worst kind of guest. <laughs> like, like we've talked about previously, uh, not on the podcast, but like in person. I am not good with usernames. I'm not even good with my own fucking username, clearly. Like I don't pay attention to user days. I okay, so anyone in the Discord that does watch this, I'm just letting you know, unless I don't recognize your icon, I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm just having a conversation with the fucking air at this point because I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm just talking. <laughs> and she says this and me and Jim can actually uh like, uh, agree with this. <laughs> Look, like, we had the video off on this one. She's got to confuse us four times. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's bad because, like, I will go and I'll screenshot stuff and I'll send it to you guys. And I'm like, who the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't understand this press it is. Oh, that's, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you liked Mark as the Red Corner Stranger, you might like the Zeo to Hero podcast. The Red Cornish Ranger is a proud partner of the Zeo to Hero Network. If you want to see more of our partners, like Baker Rangers, Neon Lights, and other friends of the show, follow us on all the socials at Zeo to Hero. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to jump back into this from the break, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about gay coding. And because us growing up, we, you know, we, we saw gay characters, I use that with quotation marks, uh, heavily quotation marks because they weren't really gay, they were just words and like things they did that were kind of like towards the gay community but not really there, so you can kind of pass it off and be like, oh yeah he wasn't gay, wink, wink wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink wink, so and so one of the one of the like one of the big ones that stood out to me, like going back through and like rewatching old episodes of Power Rangers. Uh, the do you remember? Do you remember Lightspeed Rescue? Yes. You remember Kelsey, the Yellow Ranger? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so the very last episode with her in it uh, was the last episode. She went off with her female friend. Uh... Wasn't gay. She wasn't lesbian, but she was really close with her female friend. They never really brought up in the series at all, right. ever, and no other rom- or romantic interest at all. And the whole series, but she left with her uh, female, f- her female friend at the very end of the series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the movie kind of like well, that kind of got me thinking about who what other characters could be gay coded. And down the road, you know, we we talked about this in Clayton's episode that Will was a gay coded character in Stranger. Or he's kind of a gay coded character in Stranger Things. Uh, uh, he's not really uh, inter- in- interested in anyone else but Mike, who's completely oblivious because Mike's oh completely my God. oblivious. It's yeah. So- yeah, because, like, especially with um, this past season, you can really see that when he comes to visit. Like, you know, Mike, mm-hmm. obviously, he's got 11, and he's not going to think about anything else but her. And, you know, that's just tearing Will up inside. Like, yeah, oh, my God, it's, it's so, so, so bad. The jealousy is so thick. <laughs> and I feel like I guess he's such a sweet kid, and like he spent all the time on underground or uh, under un, uh, upside, down. upside down, upside down. <laughs> oh man, it's such a and like there's a scene in the latest episode or the late season where that girl 
uh, is messing with uh, Will, and Will does not want nothing to do with this uh, this woman. Mm-hmm. Like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, nope. But yeah, like so, like there's there's gay coded characters, and since we are a Power Rangers theor- uh, uh, conspiracy theory channel, <clears throat> apparently, <laughs> well, I, ha- I have a list. I have a list. Okay. So we you know we have we have Kelsey the yellow SPD Ranger, uh, Bridge, uh, the green oh. SPD Ranger. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I think, and I'm I'm only saying this, but I think this. I'm pretty sure Sky, the blue SPD Ranger, was ace. I'm like 95 percent sure. So like asexual, so not sexual, like doesn't yeah, she yes. sexual at all. Yeah. Xander from uh, Mystic Force. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Chip, but I'm pretty sure Xander. He was ace or some kind of gay. Uh, and same with uh, same with uh, the pink and yellow, uh, pink and uh, blue ranger. The the two girls that season. Yes. I know they were supposed to be sisters. I know they're sisters, but like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure one might be uh, gay coded. I'm pretty sure it's mm-hmm. the uh, not the pink one, it's the blue one. Yes, the blue yeah. one. Uh, Ronnie from uh, from Operation Overdrive, the uh, the yellow ranger Ronnie. Yes. Uh, my personal favorite, Antonio. Antonio, I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure is super gay for Jaden, and I've said this like multiple times already. But yeah, and then you got uh, you know Izzy, and so the only ones I can ah. think of. But that's my list. I'm checking it twice, and I'm crying a little okay, bit about Santa it. Santa Claus. Yeah, chill out there. Hey, <laughs> dude. I, every 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 Christmas, I swear to God, every Christmas, Liz is like, I'm gonna dress you up as Santa Claus, and you're gonna hand out Christmas gifts to everyone in the neighborhood. I'm like. Not a chance. Thanks, Sam. You, tr- to to- you triggered Jim. Well, I'm going to have to come <laughs> to Texas and uh, team up with Liz and make this happen. I dressed up as Santa Claus one time. When, when I have a jumped. photo evidence of this. It's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> it's really yeah. sad because he looks all pathetic in it. He's like, oh, I'm so sad. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. You did look. Well, it got really bad where mom showed up and started pestering you and you just like yeah. sit there trying to cut your own wrist. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on! Why does the candy canes cut? <laughs> oh <my God>. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, like, come on, damn it! <laughs> Let me end this. <laughs> yeah. But there, there's there's been a bunch of like gay coded characters throughout you know the early '90s, '80s, and heck even '70s that you know, no. oh, but yeah. they weren't explicitly said that they were gay until more recently because well we haven't lived in a society that's been super helpful towards having gay mm-hmm. people. No, and not so. Gay recent. people are well. Gays are recent. Uh, now we got tr- uh, trans who are now the new super devil. <laughs> but it's creepy because, like, I remember, you know, when I was younger, like, you know, you knew about trans people, but like, you, there wasn't really a word for it yet. Like, as far as mm-hmm. I remember, there wasn't, you know, trans wasn't a word that I remember as a kid. Yeah. But I do remember seeing, like, documentaries of, like, random men that wanted to dress up as women or wanted to become women. And it was never, like, the women wanting to be dudes at all or anything like that. It yeah. was mainly focused on men wanting to become a woman. Like, mm-hmm. you knew about, you know, drag queens and stuff like that. And that was a little bit more accepted because people were just like, okay, they're dressing up. You know, this is yeah. just for fun this is what the gays do you know whatever but then there would be like it it would become a problem almost or more taboo with the people that you know wanted to be full-time women and that's when you know shows on like tlc or whatever would depict these people and be like how could they live such a life like this? And but well, they would make the it would seem so bad that they were doing it. And you know, you just were being taught, don't do this or you're gonna be a freak, you know? Which yeah. Is so terrible. What I what I realized a little while back, what I realized was uh it's not it's not acceptance of the lifestyle, it's accept uh, it's this hatred of awkward sex. <laughs> <laughs> So it was never like the lifestyle. It was always that it was a taboo because they, people who hated these ideas of people who are transgender, uh, people who cross dress, people who like the same gender. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not the lifestyle. It's not the fact that like that that exists. It's the fact that people sexualize it, and yeah. so like they can they that can hate too. something 
that sexualized. Like, like, oh yeah, like look at the look at the new current like the current political strife we have right now, where people are calling transgender people like groomers, like pedophiles yeah. and groomers, because it's not the fact that they exist; it's the fact that they only think of it as a sexual deviant act. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so it's yeah. never, never more than that. And so if you only can focus in on one topic, like one, like you can single, singly focus in on this idea that it's a deviant sexual act, then voila, you could demonize people super easily because no, no yeah. longer are people; they're just sexual deviants. And so, yeah, we, yeah. we, and then this was a thing back in the seventies too. Like in the seventies, gays were mm-hmm. sexual deviants. And so that's why they could hate on gays all the time back then, even before that, even back to the fifties. And yeah. uh, if if you want a real quick history lesson, it's kind of fun. So transgender has been around since the dawn of time. <laughs> it's it's been going forever. Uh, you know who actually uh, destroyed a large chunk of transgender history? Mm-hmm. The Nazis. Oh, there was an actual. It. There was a. There was an amazing uh, amazing library of transgender history in Stockholm. Uh, before they burned it to the ground, and the Nazis just completely destroyed the entire like history of it. Hence, why we don't really see many transgender things in history till like the fifties and sixties. We don't start seeing something mm-hmm. until then, because it was destroyed. Everything like there was uh, well, there was a procedure in the thirties that actually to cessal transgender uh, transgender procedure in the thirties that was completely wiped off the face of the planet because. They burned the library yeah. to the ground. I also saw that I was watching a documentary the other night, and they were talking about how some of that uh, uh, some of that stuff was uh, was held in Warsaw too. And then mm-hmm. Warsaw got hit, and as they were getting hit, they were trying to uh, evacuate all the paintings, the the paintings, documentation, everything. And then now mm-hmm. to this day, it is very rare. Yeah. Uh, like, like if you have a piece of this documentation, you're like entitled to like millions of dollars. Yeah, like I mean, if, a lot of it got destroyed. A lot of it, yes, a lot, a lot, a lot of it got destroyed. And uh, the Nazis were really, really good about destroying history. Yeah. Like, very and, good at it. Because... And the the one show I saw it was a uh, Expedition Unknown, which I never thought would like bring to light a lot of the stuff that was happening in Germany that was mm-hmm. like being documented and stuff. Yeah, but he was talking about a lot of that stuff. That, that those those destroyed. Nazis were really good about destroying de- the data. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're super good. At it. And then like, oh, there there was also profiteers at the at the time too. Like, America was a huge profiteer of, oh, yeah, of the Nazi so. regime, and so we were making tons of money off of it. Um, actually, if you, uh, if you really want to know something kind of crazy, so we actually uh, the second most spoken language in America before World War II was German. Ah, uh, I yeah. Believe that, and then after War II, we uh, we we changed the name to French fries or Freedom Fries for a little while. We we adopted English as our main uh, main language, even though it's not really in the books. It's our main language. Everything's written in English uh, mm-hmm. because we went we did a full one eighty after the Nazis because uh, they they went too far. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. They went too far and they got caught. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah. Welcome to uh, welcome to history lessons. See you to hear today, guys. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Hope you all feel that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, uh, I actually uh, before we get too far into it, I do want to give a little shout out to uh, to our guy Willie, who was uh, talking. He's on our he's on the Discord server, uh, Discord server uh, cosplay dude, and uh, he was talk. Uh, he he asked me if it was too far because he he apologized for a. Uh, for how he uh, how he viewed his religion, so he said he was a he was a Christian, and that there's a lot of people in the Christian community that uh, do not like or hate on gays, transgenders, and stuff like that, uh, and use their uh, use the Bible as a uh, a weapon uh, to execute these uh, these ideas. And I I straight up told them like, dude, you don't have to feel bad about your your faith because it's not your faith that's causing these issues. No, it's people who even. use yeah. your faith as a, a weapon. And yeah, you should exactly. never feel bad as about long yourself. As you can believe whatever you want. Yeah, as long. Yeah. But like, as long as you're a decent human being about the situation, and you're not a total douchebag, you're fine. Like, yeah. You yeah. shouldn't uh, well, have I, to I, worry, I, or you know, have to apologize on yeah. the behalf of all those other people. You're not like that. Yeah. Nah. Well, yeah. I, I should have told him like, don't you don't need to apologize for your faith. You you are a good person, and you've never yes. shown any reason for us to, you know, never showed think anyone otherwise. any reason to think otherwise because you're a yeah. decent human being. Yeah, and, exactly. 
Uh, I should have told like don't don't ever think of your religion as a uh, fault of your own. Like it helps you become yeah. the person you want to be, and yeah. it helps you grow to be the person you you want to become and be happy with who you are and do good things. And <laughs> uh, yeah. I, and coming from a guy who's read a bunch of different religious texts and everything, and uh, most of them all say the same thing: uh, don't be a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it boils down to. Just don't be a dick. Like yeah. why? Like I, I can quote you verses all day about you know being good to your neighbor and stuff, and but uh, it's whatever, a whole different story for a different day. That's not uh-huh. gonna be part of this episode because it's gonna yeah. it's gonna drive a lot of people away. And people are gonna be like, oh, these guys are crazy. And I'm like, oh yeah, we know we're crazy. <laughs> so we want to keep the people yeah. we're, uh, who's trying to be here today. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, okay, so now on to the, uh, the other fun stuff we have planned for the rest of the episode, where we're just going to let Sam roast people. All right, Sam, <laughs> who do you want to go up to first? <laughs> okay, well, so I, you know, I already explained this to Billy and Jim that, like, you know, as much as I would love to start, like, calling people out one by one, I kind of will go way too hard into each person, and I don't want to be sitting here hurting feelings or anything like that because I I, I can get pretty mean and um, I, I don't want people to hate me <laughs> I mean I don't really uh-huh. care at the same don't time hate you. Sure. <laughs> but you know it's just I'm gonna I'm gonna mention stuff but I'm not gonna mention names so if the shoe fits that's <laughs> on you that's on freaking you. I, I that's that's all I gotta say on that. But so like let's go on to the first subject matter that on TikTok, I feel like if your video quality looks like something out of a two thousands, early two thousands, I'm I'm saying like two thousand five, two thousand six <laughs> kind of era, like YouTube flip phone shit you should really reconsider what you're doing because like (laughs) first of all we have the technology now for any phone to have a little bit better video quality than that what are you doing what are you (laughs) how are you doing this what sorcery are you going to uh, are you having to go back in time to make videos like that unless i'm not like (laughs) I'm more curious and scared. Like, I'm not mad at you. I'm more curious. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, like, exactly. How? It's just like, how, you know, even with the shitty ass, like, prepaid mobile phones that you could probably get from Walmart, I have seen have the better video quality than some people on TikTok. And I just, I, I, I'm confused. How did you do this? What are you doing? And like, even I'm- so, like, if you know your video quality shit, go outside in the sunlight. Get good lighting at least. Because not only is the video quality terrible, you're in a dark ass fucking room and I can barely see you anyway. Which I think is probably <laughs> a good thing. It's probably a good thing because I probably don't want to see you because if yeah, you know, it's just cringe. It's just cringe. And it like <sighs> I hate when people try to like get me to do wet these videos or want me to like interact or stitch them or whatever because like I don't want to be associated with these videos like <laughs> that's just how bad it is I'm like oh dear god can like, I how- can I can I just <laughs> add to the fact that like some people do a video and it's like they smudge their their camera lens with their finger and like oh yep that's Picasso but that, that too, like, it's like they, some of these videos that they post are like, do you not look at them before you post them? <laughs> do you yeah. not? This also goes into when you're doing an audio on TikTok. Do you not see that you're not lip syncing correctly to the audio? Like you're like a few seconds off or a few seconds ahead or your lips just don't even match. Like you're just moving your mouth to make it look like you're saying words, but you know they don't match up. Like, do you not notice you're doing that? <laughs> just say watermelon and get it over with. God, just mouth the word watermelon and be done with it. Yeah. It's just, it's so bad. Like, you know, one of the things... I've learned to help with the syncing situation because I know when I started TikTok, I was the same way. But like, I would 
look at the video before I posted it and mm-hmm. whatever like looked close enough that was what I would post I wouldn't post the really bad ones but I would post the ones that I was like okay this this can pass but like <clears throat> okay yeah. um oh, okay so I, I know okay so you're saying that and it made me think about something that happened recently on TikTok okay mm-hmm. uh and so it was a a ranger cosplay thing that happened I okay. think Billy knows what I'm going to talk about. Uh, but so this person's okay. So this, this was one random person. Uh, I, I know I'm just diverged entirely on this topic, but um, I don't get to TikTok often. So this, this is something I, I, I went and looked into this person said, someone said something really mean comments to them about their cosplay. Okay. Yeah. And they blew up in the ranger sphere of like all the, all the cosplayers and everyone start following them and all the other stuff in between. Yeah. And th- Everyone's like, oh, this this recent account is, you know, they're trying to do cosplay stuff, but someone said something really mean to them about it, and it everyone jumped on board to defend them, okay? Yeah. But the TikTok was active for, like, three years beforehand. Oh, I know who you're talking about, because you talked to me about this, too. <laughs> but, and then the video, the video that had the mean comment on it was recent, but they had the same video, like, ten months ago. Yeah. And no one said no traction at all on it, so I think... It was a staged. Oh, look at the temple hat on. Uh, ah, well, okay, so I, a staged I think thing. Because honestly, like that same person that you're talking, because I know exactly who you're talking about, because we've talked about it. Um, recently, they posted another like hate comment, and like they went off, and they were like trying to defend themselves over it. And I was just like, "Are you trying to get the attention again?" Like at this point, like I, I. At first, like when you were talking about them, um, I was like, just I try. You know, I tried to defend them a little bit. I was like, maybe yeah. it's just weird TikTok algorithm bullshit. This is why this is happening. You know, mm-hmm. da, da, da. but like now that they've done it again, yeah. But no, she, she, the, she, them, them. <laughs> are we with them? Getting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they are not getting the. Um, the same amount of like feedback, right? It's not. Yeah, the same. they're not getting the same uh, traction as they did the first time this happened. Now yeah. I haven't really seen a lot of content after that second. Oh, I'm gonna you know bitch about this hate comment, you know situation. Yeah. And so like yeah, like I I noticed that again, and I'm like, well, I think there's something else. Like you know, it's manufactured because like I know there's a lot of guys and stuff in the TikTok and in uh, uh, the Rangerverse who are kind of not a lot, but there's there's enough that are kind of really douchey and yeah. like really fool themselves. But oh like <laughs> it's a one hitter quitter for most of them. Like they'll do it yeah. once and they give up because they don't get anything back from it. Yeah. And so or like they block get blocked or like they realize it's not really use uh, usable at all <laughs> for anyone, and so they move on and get over themselves and. Like, I know you deal with that a lot. And, like, these guys show up and they say crap and, you know, you just like, oh, whatever. And they leave you alone after that most yeah. times unless you block them. <laughs> but, like, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of manufactured uh, controversy happening right now in the PR, yeah. like, fandoms at the moment. It's crazy because, like, honestly, like, I, for the most part, anything controversial that happens on my end with stuff is mm. usually somebody talking about JDF. And yeah. them yeah. wanting to fight with me about this. And usually the fight is one ended because like all they could say is just because, just because. And I'm like, that's not a fight, you moron. Like, come think on. Out your, uh, think out your argument, Ben Shapiro. Come on. <laughs> like, exactly. And it's just it's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. But I I I like that uh that incident that happened the other day where like somebody commented on your appearance. Yeah. And then, and then, as soon as I comment on his appearance, he had to play the disability card. Well, that's the thing. Like that was, <laughs> I think he deleted the whole thing too because I went to go like look at it and it wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, it was and gone when I. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> it was the video that I posted about you know, oh, me being hot as your ex or whatever is yeah. you know one of those stupid joke TikToks that I usually post. And you know what? You were, you were. What do you mean I was? What do you mean yeah. were? What the. <laughs> First of all, I don't even know who you are other than a mutual on here. Secondly, yeah. what the hell was twas? Don't make it look like I was involved with you 
at any <laughs> point in time because we've never spoken, yeah. never ever <laughs> that I know of. Uh, so ew, no, on both ends. And then like, you know, you commented defending me, and he, you know, played the disability. I'm fucking disabled. I'm f***ing disabled, so it's okay for me being a disabled person for you to comment that, but as soon as it gets turned back on you, yeah, that's a no-no. <laughs> that's a no-no. Uh-uh-uh. Thin skin, <laughs> little so. punk-ass, little... Yeah. <laughs> for real. <laughs> like, oh, man. Absolutely fucking yeah. not. But, and, so- like, well, that's what, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we have people like that in the PR community. And I'm not saying yes. everyone in the PR community is like that. But, like, yeah. they're real easy to back down pretty quickly. Like, most of mm-hmm. them, like, will, you know, buck up for a second. Then they back down, like, oh, yeah, now I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, that's why I'm thinking, like, this controversy thing is, like, ma- like manufactured. Like, because yeah. most times, like, they'll back down pretty quick. Like, uh, the worst part is it's, like, those people that I was just saying, like, with the you know, early 2000s filming, they're always the first ones to talk shit, too. They're mm-hmm. always the first ones to be the cocky ones. Like, their content is the greatest thing known to man. And I'm like, do you not see how cringy you look? <laughs> you oh, my not, God. Do you not see it? And, like, don't get me wrong, but, like, I, I the fact that a lot of them think that using the rain filter on TikTok inside their house is some kind of edgy move, why? It's like, edge, you, edge know, Lord. you know they are going to be the cringiest content you'll see if they have rain inside their house. And I'm I not... can't help but make fun of every single one of them. And they all know, because I've called them out before, don't f***ing use rain inside. Do you have a hole in your goddamn roof? Do you have a f***ing hole there? Like, why, why are you leave the tub the upstairs on? What's going on here? Why yeah. are you using... I, I'm waiting for these to use the snow filter. Because now I'm going to be like, are you? do you live in a box? Like, what? like, what's going on? Like, if you're paying rent on this, like, you need to get in touch with your landlord right now it's, get that freaking yeah, exactly. fixed. Like, <laughs> you, you have some household issues that you need to be taking care of and not making TikToks. Like, if there is <laughs> weather happening inside your home, stop, put down the phone and call somebody. <laughs> Go fix your fucking roof. The next topic here, uh, uh, can can we just say that we saw like a while ago, but I kind of like bring it up, you know, because uh, Sam wants uh, like they're talking about doing a comic series for some of these like TikTok users that cosplay and they have Sam as a Ranger Slayer yeah. in this thing, like in a little demo sketch. <laughs> and Sam. I think it's I think it's hilarious. Let's Sam, how do you feel about it? <laughs> yeah. How do you feel like being immortalized okay, so, by a pencil? Listen, um, <laughs> so. <laughs> year ago i think i was the first one of the first people that um this guy uh drew as a power ranger um i, w- I want to say his name is lazaro or something like that i don't like i said before i'm not good with usernames um the only reason why i slightly remember his is because i've talked to him numerous times and that's really you know and he drew you with a pencil yeah he did <laughs> He, uh, the first, um, drawing he did for me last year, um, I, that is my favorite out of, I think, the two that he's done for me thus far. The first one was my favorite. It came out super awesome. I had that as my icon for a while. Um, but as soon as, um, he started drawing Mark and the dude that does Lord Zed. Somehow or another, this comic started coming up. And I only know very, 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 very little about it. Like, it was brought up. And I was like, cool, sure, whatever, go for it. And that's all I really heard of it. Um, so if it happens, then, hey, awesome. If it doesn't, then it was a cool idea. <laughs> um, but, you know, it it would be cool to see how that plays out, how that goes, you know, how they're going to, who's going to write the comic for that? Because, God, that is going to be a interesting. Well, you know, you got to throw Mark in there and you can't understand damn what he says anyways. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, all I could see God. in the comic is like his 
character just holding a cup of tea sitting in the corner just being like this is stupid <laughs> like, no everything's on fire yeah, he's gonna like, drink more tea. like a, <laughs> almost you know like a deadpool kind of way vibe like him just being like sitting there like all you know i don't know <laughs> i don't really know how to put that hey. but like it's just weird i don't know how they're you know i don't know how he's gonna tie in lord said the ranger slayer and the cornish ranger and what i don't know how that that is going wait to wait what isn't lord ed not lord zed i i it's zed but we ever call him ed <laughs> see i okay speaking of i'm going back into can we get wait 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 can we get like one guy with two zed helmets to be like i'm eddie <laughs> oh my god ed, no. ed, ed, eddie come on no. now uh, no <laughs> but um going back into my small rants um Okay, so I won't call him Ed only because anyone that has called him Ed reminds me of all the morons here that go, let's go Brandon for <laughs> Biden. Like, that's what it, that's the energy it's giving off. And I'm just like, I don't want to be associated with these people. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. Like, this shit is so annoying. Like, why do you got to do, why, why do you got to do this? This is not even funny. This is not funny, <laughs> like, at all, like, to anybody, maybe to them, but it's not, to me, I'm just like, this is it dumb. It was funny for about 30 <laughs> seconds, and after exactly. that, stop. That, exactly, like, it, it, that's, It's that's like those people who part. run a joke into the ground, or people who yeah. still use Inner Explorer, <laughs> just let it <Yeah>. die. <laughs> that's the worst part, too, like, one of the things, like, Yes, it took me a very long time to accept the fact that I was a nerdy person and, like, I wanted to project, like, myself as a nerdy person and, like, let it be known that I was a nerdy person. Like, everyone always knew that, you know, I was into, like, Power Rangers and stuff like that, but not until, like, I started, you know, using TikTok did I actually show it. Um, yeah. But now it's become more of my personality and, like, everything that I do kind of has it tied into it somehow and i'm i'm okay with you know being who i am now it took me a very long time but like it's hard being in that headspace of hiding my nerdiness and i'm kind of like that bully that's you know, going back to the gay thing you know the the stereotypical like jock who's secretly gay picking on the other gay kids because they can't come out. I'm kind of like that, but in the nerd sense. So, okay. like, I will still have that mindset of, oh, I need to make fun of the other nerds, even though I'm one of them. And it's f***ed up, and I know oh. that is. And that's why I make fun of everyone all the time, because I'm just like, how did they not see how bad this is? Like, so, are, 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 you, are you the nerd slayer? The nerd slayer. Uh, at this point, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's, just, it's bad because like i'm so self-conscious about you know what i put out and what i want you know yeah. people to you're see you're you're, you're entirely self-conscious of how you present yourself and exactly. you, you feel like if you present yourself as a nerd and these people are there with you like they, they associate you with these people it yeah. you know it puts it puts you off of wanting to present yourself as a nerd because you don't want to be associated with them because they're really it, cringy it, exactly uh, i totally get it man i totally the get nail it nail on the head there because like it's just it's like yes i want to be this nerdy person i want to you know show off what i can do and all the stuff i have and all that stuff i want like, to do that but I, like then yeah. they see you know 2007 over there if they're flip phone videos and i'm just like <laughs> that's not who i am and then yeah. like the weird you know trying to do karate kicks and morphing and all that on you know a video i'm just like my, my god you you remind me of what is that movie <laughs> role models with the mclovin oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's what they well, all remind me of mclovin <laughs> doing the larp shit and i'm just like oh my god and i'm just here like paul rudd like trying to accept things and then in the end i come out you know larping myself like that that's kind of how i see it and i'm just like oh dear well God. like I, I totally get it <laughs> like i i totally get it man because like I, i'm a huge nerd like and i i know a lot about a lot of things for like the nerd culture stuff but man like i try not to come off as like condescending because i know people like me are super condescending i don't want to be condescending i don't want to like, come off as a jerk and i don't want to be like making fun of people because they don't know what i know because i spent the time to learn it 
and like I always try to be like, oh hey, no man, you're a little wrong there. This is what's right. Like this is part of the lore and stuff like that. But, like just making yeah. sure you know what you're talking about. And like I know, like I know I come off as condescending sometimes, and I hate it because. Yeah that's kind of what like it sounds like especially in text and i'm like oh yeah condescending and like i'm in the same boat you are but in like a different genre yeah i I don't want to come off as that and um and i present myself in a more fun happy kind of manner especially when i'm like at in work environments i always try to come off as more of a happy kind of go lucky kind of person even though i'm a huge nerd (laughs) and know far more stuff that i should know about like stuff and so i'm like hey you know yeah, and like, wait. I'm like, yeah, and like, wait. I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I got that. It's just, it just sucks because it's like, as much as like I want to be involved in everything, I just, at the same time, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> you know, I can't stop, you know, making fun of somebody or judging them or whatever. And then like, a lot of the time, like, if I do it to their face, I just, I want them to realize that maybe they should change something or like try to yeah. improve something, but I don't know how to do that in a nice way. I yeah. don't, I cannot for anything. I'm just like, you need to humble your ass and realize that this is terrible. Please just <laughs> somebody didn't bully, bully you enough when you were younger. And somebody needs to tell you, yeah. no, you cannot do everything when you get older. Just please yeah. There, there, there's a couple of people like you said that you watch them and you're like, all righty then cool so you're happy awesome but yeah. like you want to try to tone that down or like refine that a little bit exactly. because like, that was pretty I, bad yeah. like okay okay you'll go through you'll watch people and like you'll see like their first videos are like, super cringy you're like uh, okay and then like yeah. later on like you know later on down the road when they realize it was super cringy they read like they do these videos again like there's yeah. a there's one guy who did morphing sequences or something like that that was like super cringy his first couple ones are super cringe and like yeah. now they're like kind of fun. I'm like, oh, that was pretty cool. All right, man. Yeah. Like, get on you. Like, I like those effects you use. Those look freaking sweet. Yeah. <laughs> like, awesome. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, some people never catch on, and mm-hmm. some people do, and they they improve on their stuff a whole lot. And like, some people never catch on and like ask for donations to do their shipping stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but geez. leave it like that. I can't. I have no room to say anything about donations clearly because i you know as for the rita stuff but like at the same time like i the rita stuff i waited you know i waited till i got enough money to you know buy my stuff um, and now i still have a little bit extra so i could go out and attempt to make the head stuff the headgear and the staff and all that and whatever extra money i do have hopefully i can start you know, giving back to people. And I have been able to do that thus far. Like, I got my friend a pop figure. I got you and Billy shirts. Like, Billy shirts still on the way. But, you know, like, it's nice to be able to take those donations and, like, give back at least and not just still continue to beg for money. Like, all the money I'm getting is going back to everyone else. It's not just going (laughs) <laughs> on the note, uh, on the note of uh, begging for money, if you guys want to help the show out, you can hit up co-fi.com slash the hero and help the show out a little bit. Jeez. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining in on this episode of the Sam's Rants. Uh, <laughs> the, the Sam Talk Cringe. <laughs> the Sam Talk Cringe. Um, I didn't even get all of it out either, which is the worst part. We're going to have to have a, a... A part two. A part two. So if you like this video... Stay tuned for part two, like they say on TikTok, you know, because <laughs> if you can't finish it in three minutes, then God, lo- good Lord, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks again, again, you know, again, 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 again. 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 Thanks again for listening in. This has uh, been a very interesting ride as um, Sam has proved that you could drop a baby by accident on its head, but she was thrown into a wall. Wait, and, was Jim. And, and Jim is the only man that I know that can swing and swerve. Pop the curve. <laughs> 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 I thought I'd reverse those. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, oh, get out of here. All right, Sam, uh, you have anywhere, uh, anyone you want to support, to, uh, talk more smack about, or uh, people can find you? Um. Well, I'm always talking smack. Always. So if you want to hear that, just join the Discord. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sounds reasonable. Uh, but join the link... Discord if you want me to just 
talk shit to you. The, the, the link for the Discord simple. is uh, discord.zutohero.com. Come and join the yep. Discord. And uh, you have to accept the terms and agreements. Come on, guys. Do it. <laughs> Jeez. Man, people sitting there in the welcome page. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's some... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a thing there that says, do you accept these terms and agreements to be on the Discord server? Yeah. It's read it. It's, uh, it's stock. Come on, guys. I haven't changed a dang word in it. Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just be nice. <laughs> God. Uh. All right. So, just that though, you can find us over at uh, everywhere you can find us uh, for like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Zero to Hero. And uh, you can find me at notmypersonalplugs.com. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can find <laughs> Billy at nothispersonalplugs.com. <laughs> yes. That's correct. <laughs> All right. You got anything else, Billy? No, that was pretty much it, you know. All right. And then Mortal Ward the Zordon. Come at me, bro. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>